This video is sponsored by Temu. More from them later in the video. So today we're going to be showcasing the brand new Super Strike free-to-play AGL Vegeta. A, a very long-awaited Super Strike EZA for me personally, especially since the release of the Kid Vegeta Super Strike EZA. Since they are two great linking partners, and now that King Vegeta is out with these EZA, he's getting a lot of support. So hopefully he's good. You never know. Uh, when I read his details, he looked pretty mid, but we'll find out in today's video. Now, before we jump into the details of this guy, we have our daily shout out for our tier two members. Today's shout out goes to Prazu Plus. Thank you for your support as always. Now, we did hit 10 tier two members, which is our goal for releasing the Sin Shenron video completion for free to play. Um, I'm going to make a special deal to all members so you can join as a tier one member for only a dollar. Link in the description or press the join button down below. And you can watch the Sin Shenron run for free to play instantly. For only this video only. So make sure you join if you can. I appreciate your support. Let's get into the details of this Vegeta. So his stats for HP is 15,482. Attack is 14,000. Defense is 9,600. Overall good stats. I never complain about the base stats of any Super Strike unit to be honest. For the leader skill we have AGL and Tech for 70% stat boost and 3 key. Uh, for the super attack mechanic, greatly raise attack for one turn, medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then for the passive skill, 150% attack and defense up at the start of the turn, 100% attack when key is six or more, 100% defense when eight key or more, medium chance of evading enemy's attack when key is 10 or more. Should be very simple to get all of those. He's able to launch an additional attack. There's a high chance of becoming a super attack when you super attack. So a triple super attack is a potential. And then you get an additional 10% attack and defense with every orb obtained. He's able to change a type of orb to AGL if you're versing a Goku, which is very rare and it's only on the easier events. But trust me, I've used them already. You don't want to bring this guy on the harder events. So this is the team that we are rocking. We got the Saiyan Saga Vegeta for the 130% Vegeta's family leader. And then the Majo Vegeta, which is a 200% leader for the Super Strike Vegeta. So before we get into this run, a word from today's sponsor, Temu. Temu is your one-stop destination for affordable, high-quality items. Perfect for home decor, electronics, pet supplies, sports, and toy selections. They offer amazing deals with site-wide sales of up to 90% off. And they have free worldwide shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. Let me show you what they sent me that I picked out. So I got plenty of things here. Let's start off with this bag. My main purpose for this shop was home supplies. I'm getting to that adult phase, you could say. So I got myself a little lunchbox. Microfiber kitchen cloths just to clean up the place. Looks pretty good to me. More lunchboxes because you can't have enough. This one's for heated stuff. And of course, a nice compartment for your spoon. Looks pretty cute, actually. Nice color. And you won't guess what else I got. I got more lunchboxes. <laughs> He's actually really good. They're actually really cute too. And then more lunch boxes. This one's stackable, but this is more of a container, microwavable container that stacks. Um, that's, like I said, that was pretty much what I was going for with this shop. Now, of course, I wouldn't leave out any non-Dragon Ball Z related stuff. So I got a packet of these, which if you don't know what they are, they are croc pins for, of course, your crocs. Ta-da! And like I said previously, they do offer electronics. So... Some stuff that I got through electronics is this stylus here. Uh, this one specifically is for my mum uh, to use on her iPad. I got this really cool item, which is a headset stand. So let me build this real quickly. So here it is. It's real wood from what I can tell. And to fit with this headset stand, the Lenovo Think Plus TH30 Music Sports Wireless Headphones right here. So what's special about these Lenovo headphones is that Temu has given me an exclusive deal for you guys where if you download the app through my first link in the description or in the pinned comment, you can get these wireless headphones at a discount. It was originally $19.99 and by using my link and downloading the app, you can get it for $5.39, which is pretty dope. You can put them right here with your headphone stands, nice little contrast and colors as well. Not too bad, especially for the price. Actually kind of comfortable as well. And not only that, by using my link in the description as well, or by using the code displayed on screen, you can get a $100 coupon discount for free. So don't miss out on this special deal, guys. Take advantage of my deal by clicking the referral link in the description or pinned comment. Big shout outs to Temu for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the main content. So we're jumping in now, and we do have him at the start, which is good. I brought a Chi item just in case orbs aren't that good, but I do want to show you guys 
what his general average is. If you're versing Goku, you're probably going to get more than five blue orbs, I would say. Start of turn is 100,000 defense. Now, the problem with him is that he's not a first slot unit because when you grab the orbs, you're only getting the defense from grabbing the orbs. The defense where you get eight or more key is applied after the attack. Um, I believe that also goes for the dodge chance as well. So we won't be seeing him dodging first slot. Okay, maybe at the start of the turn, it actually activates instead of... <laughs> but his attack stat is really good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, because he only gets 100% defense, you can pretty easily calculate how much defense he's going to get after his attack. Well, at the start of the turn. I actually don't know if it's the start of the turn, after grabbing orbs, or if it's when he attacks. That could have been the three dodge that I gave him. I would recommend you give him maximum critical. He does get additionals through his passive skill, and it is nice to greatly raise attack for one turn. But because he has inbuilt additional, two super attacks is more than enough. He's not raising defense on super anyway, so you're not losing out on too much as a free-to-play unit. So let's um, plow through this event if we can. And of course, we're saving any blues that we can just so we get maximum amount of chances to get high stats with him. Now he's... Out of all the super strikes, he's technically not the worst. I would say he's better than Mercenary Tao because his restriction's not, like, entirely bad. Like, he can at least get some attack. He's just a big glass cannon. He's the biggest glass cannon to this date. I haven't seen a bigger glass cannon than him since Super Saiyan 3 Tech Goku. Angel. Remember that free-to-play card that hasn't gotten easier yet, even though he was, like, one of the first ones to get, like, the 30% leader skill? Yeah, good times. Good times. Hope you guys that joined today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, do live streams on YouTube now. First live stream was farming this guy up and using him. It's pretty fun. Uh, we do have his best linking partner, which is the King Vegeta. I don't have him max link leveled, but he's only gaining attack pretty much. So uh, it's not that big of a deal. The only thing we're missing, I think, is Bombardment or the other Super Strike. One. No, it's Bombardment, right? Yeah. Um, which is one of like his bigger attacks. We can fulfill that later on. I just don't want him to deal with the um, King Vegeta to deal with the attacks right now. So 169,000 defense, pretty much doubling that when he attacks. 300,000 defense. It's not bad, but you did see how many orbs I had to collect to have double support in here. Um, in general, you're probably putting him in third or second slot. So your other first slot, you might grab all of those orbs. He does have 8 million attack stat for a TUR is really strong. Really, really strong. If you have max critical on him, him critical hitting is really nice. So let's see if the orb change is good. It's decent. I'll probably take that. Um, see his defense, 130,000. Uh, we don't really need to grab... Uh, use the Chi Light item. We'll probably save it. So now... With like, I don't know, 10 orbs, 170. It's it's because it's 10%. I feel like 10% is too little. They should have made at least like 20% per orb obtained, honestly. Just because he's only getting majority of his attack and defense after a attack. So the orb is like, it does really nothing. It's so minuscule. Very, very minuscule. 20% would have done a lot more. Maybe get him to like... 500,000 defense would have been nice. Uh, let's grab all of these purples. Just to heal up. I'm just going to Whis here. Because it is pretty dangerous to take a super attack right now. I don't really want to lose too much of health. Because he lowers defense as Goku. I don't, and this team isn't really suited for LG GT. I'm more like supporting the Vegeta right now. Even though technically we could have no item. We could have survived with like 100,000 if we did take a super now, I hope that Trunks has Bombardment. He does not. That sucks. So, only Kid Vegeta is providing Bombardment. It's, it's okay. At least the Trunks is a support in its own right. I want to see if I can get to 10 million attacks that. Nothing like uh, Doga World Showcase. Uh, that's super unrealistic. Um, unfortunately, even with Max Link leveled, uh, he's only getting like maybe an extra... I mean, he's getting a decent... Like an extra... 20, 30%. I don't really know the calcs. But it's nothing too crazy to get him over to the 20 mil mark. Maybe under double 200%, he could probably make it with a full orb field change. I didn't actually watch the showcase, but definitely not going to be feasible for us. 7 million right here. 
Good damage, 5.2. I do have like 24 critical on him. I just made him just the biggest damage dealer ever. That's pretty much it. Um, I will waste one more time. And because we're not getting bombardment, I'm just going to put Vegeta in the middle uh, first line. Then we'll get the Doka mode with him. All right, let's use the Chilai up now. Great orb changing. Okay, that's a bit better. 20 orbs. We'll take it. It's above average. Doka mode. And let's see how much I get here. Now, I'll show you some clips of him trying to tank. It's not that good after this Doka mode. Just to show you how bad it really is. 20 million attack stat. Was close to getting to uh, beating Doka world. Definitely if uh, with Link level <laughs> 10 would have made it for sure. His SA animation is really nice though. For free to play. 36 million damage right there. And that's pretty much it for the Vegeta showcase. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys thoughts on him. I'm probably not going to use him unless I need to use Vegeta's family. There's not really that much competition for Vegeta's family. Other than that, there's very minuscule amount of categories that he would be useful on for free to play even. Unless I know I'm versing an STR unit. If you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out the sponsor link in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Good orb change. Where's my reds at? I don't. Oh, crap. This is not good. I hope I can survive. Because if I grab nice orbs here... I shouldn't have used that heal item. I can get that Dokomo with Turles. Finish the job. No, of course he's top one. Slot one? Are you kidding? What's that? 350! Oh, slot one. Oh, yo, finish it off. Finish it off. <laughs> Ugh.